Hey everyone. Um, so this is like, I guess, a highly requested video, and basically, I'll be telling you how I got my job at Hollister. So I'm gonna get into the details regarding interview, orientation, and the first day, and what to wear. So basically, I signed up through the website first because I was moving here to college. And then um, after that, I got a call within like two days and I was still back home in LA. And then they called me in and they asked me if I could set up an interview with them, but I hadn't moved to where I am right now. Um, so I asked, I like rescheduled it. They asked me to come in like the next day after they called me, um, but that was probably not possible for me because I hadn't found like a place to stay and it was kind of far from my house so I rescheduled it with them and asked them if I could um, reschedule it and do it like the following week on Tuesday and they were really nice about it um, they said yeah that's fine and then I came in that day and we did our interview I thought they were gonna like just um, bail on me, you know, or like not get back to me or say they forgot, you know Because <laughs> I thought they were gonna like hire more people like immediately and like consider the next person instead of giving me like a chance um, But I'm glad they like gave me a chance and like saved me a spot um, Yeah um, So basically during the interview I was like super nervous beforehand so I did like a bunch of research on um, like interview questions that they would ask uh, employees so I actually watched like a few videos on YouTube which is now why I'm making one a more updated one um, just to help people out if they want to apply because right now they are hiring for seasonal um, yeah so I wrote down like kind of like some of the questions that I saw that people were getting asked in their YouTube videos um, and then I just kind of like studied it like it was an exam <laughs> or something um, but basically um, from what I remember they did ask like a few of the questions that the their youtubers posted I didn't write down what they asked me exactly but they asked me something along the lines like how did I find this job and then I just said Oh, I just like was shopping and then I looked on the website so I just applied and hopefully I get called in for an interview and then she was like okay and then we moved on to the next question she was like tell me a little bit about yourself which is like the basic question to every like interview um, so I told her like I'm a college student and like, I obviously stated where I went and, like, what year I am. Um, and also, um, I just continued talking, basically, um, when she ha hadn't even asked me the questions. So I was saying, um, I was talking about my customer service experiences and also um, that that I'm really friendly and approachable because that's what people want to hear um, and that's what I am <laughs> basically um, and yeah that's what she asked me like in the first question kind of and then I know a lot of people get asked the question to sell your outfit which I didn't get asked that and I was like really lucky or like happy that I didn't so basically we're gonna continue on my iPhone because my camera ran out of space um, yeah so basically I didn't get asked the question to sell my outfit I didn't get asked that question um, but she did ask me how I would help a customer buy jeans um, so I just said that I would ask them what's the occasion and also um, ask them what size they are and if they wanted like 
high rise, low rise, or mid rise, and also what type of styles their preference. And also I would ask them if they want a lighter wash or a dark wash. And if they wanted like rips or not, or like no rips, um, because that stuff does matter. And um, and that's basically what I just said for that. And then she asked me what I would do, like if a customer, what I would do if like a customer didn't know what they wanted to buy. Um, and I just said I would like ask them what their style is and stuff like that but then the answer that they really wanted was um, to also give them recommendations and I think that um, you should say that um, because I thought they were gonna not choose me because I didn't say that um, but they did choose me and so that's why I'm still working there um, and also they asked me, what do I notice about Hollister? And I said uh, that it always smells really good and everything's always organized and um, people are always refolding the clothes again and again. Um, the store is nice and neat. And, um, and that's what I basically said because I, I was like, that's what I basically said because I was blanking out at that point. Um, but she asked me also what diversity and inclusion means to me. And I think that that is really, um, that is really like, um, like one of their um, main focus for the store or like their vision um, because I think they recently revamped Hollister um, to make it more inclusive because I think in the past honestly it it was less inclusive um, but they do ask that question now and so I just said that diversity and inclusion means like to accept everyone and also not um, be open-minded and um, be helpful if they need it and also to not like judge people um, which is uh, like a pretty obvious answer that you should say um, and also she asked when was a time that I demonstrated that which really had me blinking out but I just said something like related to school I was like saying like yeah I had like a breakout room and we had to meet different types of people um, and they were like all types of ethnicities and races and we just did like icebreaker thing and she asked was it for school and I said yeah and she's like was it for a class I said no it was for like an orientation thing um, which is for like one of my on-campus jobs um, and also she asked me when was the last time I initiated a conversation with a stranger and I and I said that the last time I initiated a conversation with a stranger was like actually the day that she interviewed me it was last weekend um, because I had went to a concert and and I like talked to a stranger and we became like friends instantly and I guess that's what she wanted to hear that I would be able to talk to random people and like have conversation with them because obviously in retail you should be able to talk to people and not be afraid um, but I did do that and it was with this girl and she was really nice and I told her that um, we became friends after that and then she was like really happy about it um, and she also said that it's really cute um, and she asked me what concert and I told her it was an Olivia O'Brien concert and she told me that was really good um, and then she told me like it's usually a group setting um, in the interview but at that time I was like the only person 
So she told me not to worry um, if the interview felt like short. Um, and I was like, okay. And then I just answered to the best that I could. And I was like, she told me like, if I didn't get the job to not hesitate to apply to like another location. Um, but I, I got the job <laughs> and I thought I wouldn't, like I wouldn't, like I was not hoping to get it, you know? Cause I thought like, it was just like a chance. Like I thought um, they were gonna like pick someone else or like, cause I always had wanted to work there and I had always, um, occasionally I had like apply there um but I never got a call for an interview so it just like never happened but this was the first time I got called in for an interview and it did and I did get hired so that was really good and also at the end of the interview I just like said thank you to her and then I complimented on her outfit because I actually really liked it and she thought I was so sweet um, but I don't know if that like gave me brownie points or anything she also, um, before I had left she had also explained to me like what the dress code is and everything and that they don't really care about crazy dyed hair as long as it's um, groomed really well and also I thought they were gonna say something about my tattoos which is on my arm um, but one of the managers actually has tattoos all over her legs, so it wasn't an issue. And she actually pulled me aside one during one of my shifts um, to tell me that she liked my tattoos. She basically told me like what the dress code is and like she just- the dress code was pretty simple. She said to just um, dress as if you were going to the mall with your friends, hanging out, and I told her like I shop here a lot and that I have like all my clothes from Hollister and she told me that then that shouldn't really be a problem for you because most of your clothes are from Hollister uh, but you don't have to wear clothes from Hollister all the time or like any of the times just as long as it's like fits the vibe is what I would say and also at the end of the interview I was shopping for some of the clothes and I made a purchase um, and I didn't know uh, the person who rung me up was another manager um, but maybe that also gave me brownie points that I had bought something after the interview um, which shows my loyalty to the brand and the store um, so maybe that like all of that like connected and just like gave me the job but I would never really know why I got the job, but maybe it's because I had experience and before that I didn't. Um, but anyways, that's what the interview day was all about and how it went. And what I wore to the interview was basically these pants that I'm wearing right now, Air Force Ones. They're really clean because they're like kind of new um, and I hardly ever wear them. And then I wore like a white um, tube top and then I wore a, a little jacket over it and like a crossbody bag and that was it and then it was pretty casual like a casual outfit obviously I guess you whenever you go to interviews you would think to wear like blazer suits and stuff like that but I think for this interview, you should wear something that matches the vibe of where you're going to work, kind of. Um, so since I was going to work with clothes and like obviously I wore like clothing brands that match their store. Um, and that's how they were able to like probably assume that. Um, I was a good fit for it. And now I'm going to talk about orientation. Um, so orientation was basically pretty simple. Um, it was just like a lot of paperwork. And then after that, you had a tour around the store and then you were good to go. And then you, you were given like an associate card for you to clock in. Um, and I can show you mine.
So, so they gave me like um, this card. It's like a Abercrombie and Fitch card. Um, it's a clock in, and then you can also get discounts at Abercrombie and also at Hollister with this card. Um, and then basically we just have this on the shift around our arms, like every time, so then we can just swipe on the registers. And then on like the first day, it was more like casual and you just had to like fold clothes in the front of the store and like greet customers. Um, but it went by pretty slow because it was a Monday night for me. Um, but it was pretty easy and then they had me shadow the registers one of the shifts um, but I haven't fully learned that so like we get scheduled very few hours they ask if anyone can cover and then if you can you could let them know and then you would go clock in and work um, because they hire a lot of people yeah so um, that was basically it and I don't think you should be like too nervous um, and I hope you found this like really helpful if you do have an interview coming up because um, I think it was like really easy and I was kind of like over stressing more than I should um, but I did get the job and I want to emphasize that I am an awkward person so I think you'll be able to get the job too if you do interview for it. And good luck to you. Um, and I hope to see you next time because I'll be making more videos.